Okay, so here's example one with uh, logarithmic differentiation. So we have y equals sine of x all raised to the x, and we want to find y prime, so just find the derivative. So um, first step is always the same. As long as y is already by itself, uh, we just say, okay, natural log of y equals natural log of sine of x to the x. Okay. And we're taking a natural log of all that. So these square brackets aren't really necessary, technically speaking, but um, it's not a bad idea to have those. So anyways, uh, the next step is always to use the uh, power rule for logs. Um, so that pre-calculus power rule that says you can pull out the exponent right as a factor. So that's going to be natural log of y equals uh, x, I'm going to leave a little bit of room here, x times natural log of sine of x. Okay, And now we don't really need any parentheses at all anymore because um, this exponent is out now. So that's good. Uh, okay, so now we just take a derivative of both sides with respect to x. So d dx of the left equals d dx of the right. All right, and the nice thing with logarithmic differentiation is uh, most of the time, unless you have something pretty crazy going on, um, I can't even think of anything else off the top of my head, but uh, you should always have a natural log of y on one side, and when you take a derivative, it's always going to be 1 over y times y primed. Remember, y primed is the same thing as dy dx. So chain rule says uh, derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing multiplied by the derivative of that thing. And remember, y primed is just shorthand notation for dy dx. So anyways, uh, this equals the derivative of the right, which is just standard product rule. Kind of a goofy function over here, but that's fine. Um, but product rule says the derivative of this product is the derivative of the first multiplied by the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. And uh, the second is natural log of sine of x, so derivative of natural log of a thing is 1 over that thing times the derivative of that thing. In this case, that thing is sine, so uh, we're going to multiply by the derivative of sine, which is cosine of x. Okay? So this is a 1 over here. All right, so 1 over y times y primed is still on the left side, and then on the right we can simplify a little bit. Um, 1 times natural log of sine of x is just natural log of sine of x. And uh, here, x times 1 over sine of x times cosine of x, uh, that's the same thing as cosine over sine, then just times x. So remember, cosine of x over sine of x, that's the same thing as cotangent of x. So what we have is x uh, times, and then this gives us cotangent of x. And that's pretty much uh, all we can do to simplify the right. So now we just multiply both sides by y, and we have y primed equals natural log of sine of x plus x times cotangent of x, that whole thing multiplied by y. All right, but again, we're not done yet, so the very last step is going to be um, go back to the beginning, and we say, oh, okay, y equals this function of x, sine of x all raised to the x. So we're going to take this function of x and put it back into our answer here. So instead of y, um, we want to say times sine of x all raised to the x. <clears throat> okay, And that's example one with logarithmic differentiation. So um, kind of a nasty looking derivative for a function that wasn't really too bad. Kind of goofy, right? Sine of x all raised to the x. That's a strange function, um, but it's not too bad. It's pretty simple. Uh, but its derivative is kind of nasty there. But that Usually it does happen with logarithmic differentiation. You can start with something kind of compact or small, not too bad, and then you end up with a really nasty derivative. So we can just leave our answer like this. Um, there's no need to distribute or anything like that. And uh, that's example one.